what happens at a felony arraignment here in San Diego County. If you're watching this video, chances are either you or a loved one or friend has recently been accused of a felony and you have a felony arraignment court date coming up here in San Diego County. And if that's the case, I'm very sorry to hear. I know it's a very stressful time. Stick around. I think you're gonna like this video. My name is Dodd. I'm an attorney here in San Diego County since 2004. I practice criminal defense and I've practiced criminal defense since 2004. Now the question is what happens at a felony arraignment? Now there's two things that can happen in a felony arraignment. Number one, you can come in out of custody, meaning you're out of jail. Number two, you're in custody, meaning you're in jail and you will be arraigned. So let's first talk about what happens if you're in custody and you're being arraigned. And when I say in custody, I mean you're in jail. If you're in jail, you've recently been arrested, you have a felony arraignment coming up. At that felony arraignment, a few things can happen. Number one, the judge can release you. Your attorney will make an argument that you should be released on your own recognizance or a reduction in bail. The judge can either release you or they can reduce bail. The other option is the prosecutor thinks you're a flight risk, you're a public safety concern, then what they're gonna do is they're going to either increase bail or they can set it at no bail. And if that's the case, then you will be in custody pending the outcome of the case. If the judge lowers bail, you can post bail to get out or the other option is the judge will release you and you can have supervised conditions, meaning you could be a fourth waiver, submit your person, place, vehicle to search at any time. So there could be certain conditions that you get released on, but a judge can release you on supervised OR as well. The next option is you come in out of custody, you come in out of jail. So you've either recently been arrested and you bailed out and you have a court date and you show up, or you receive a letter in the mail from the DA's office. It's called a notify letter and it tells you to come to court. Now, if you come to court on a notify letter or on your court date and you're out of custody, there is a very high probability that you will remain out of custody pending the outcome of the case. However, if you pick up a new case while you're out on bail, then the prosecutor can ask for an increase in bail and the judge can increase your bail and take you into custody. That is a possibility. So that's what happens at a felony arraignment here in San Diego County. Now, the one thing everyone always wants to know is do I need to bring witnesses to an arraignment? No, at a felony arraignment, you're going to plead not guilty. That is a standard practice in San Diego County is that every felony arraignment, you plead not guilty. We get all the reports. We get all the discovery. We get everything on the case. And you're going to have a future court date coming up, which is called a readiness conference. Now, if your loved one is in custody and you want them to get out of custody and you want a reduction in bail or you want a judge to release them, on their own recognizance, it will help if family and friends come to court in support of your family or loved one or friend because a judge will see that and they, they will see that the person who is currently in custody, the person who is currently in jail might not be a flight risk and they do have significant ties to San Diego. If you like this video, please hit the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel my next video will be what happens at a readiness conference. After the felony arraignment, we then have another court hearing called the readiness conference. And I'll put out another video on what happens at a readiness conference. Thank you. Have a good day.